May is Mary's month, and I muse at that and wonder why. Her feasts follow reason, dated due to season. Candlemas, Lady Day, but the Lady Month, May, why fasten that upon her with a feasting in her honor? Is it only its being brighter than the most are must delight her? Is it opportunist and flowers fine soonest? Ask of her, the mighty mother. Her reply puts this other question. What is spring? Growth in everything, flesh and fleece, fur and feather, grass and green world altogether. Star-eyed, strawberry-breasted, throstle above her nested, cluster of bugle blue eggs thin, forms and warms the life within. And bird and blossom swell in sod or sheath or shell. All things rising, all things sizing, Mary sees, sympathizing with that world of good, nature's motherhood. Their magnifying of each in its kind with delight calls to mind how she did in her stored magnify the Lord. Well, but there was more than this. Spring's universal bliss much had much to say to offering Mary May. When drop of blood and foam dapple bloom lights the orchard apple and thicket and thorpe are merry with silver surfed cherry, and azuring over gray bell makes wood banks and breaks wash wet like lakes, and magic cuckoo call caps, clears, and clinches all. This ecstasy all through mothering earth tells Mary her mirth till Christ's birth to remember and exaltation in God who was her salvation. <laughs>